The Kamenskaya Plateau is home to both the Sienkiev Astrophysical Institute and one of Kazakhstan's observatories. The institute was established here in the early 1940s almost by mere chance. The stars aligned to cause two events, the beginning of World War II and a unique solar eclipse to happen at the same moment. The best spot to observe this cosmic phenomenon turned out to be Almaty. Soviet scientists immediately organized several expeditions here. However, after the eclipse, they never left. Both foreign and Soviet scientists from all over the Union gathered here to witness the solar eclipse. They had to stay after the cosmic event due to the war. Part of the territories of the USSR was already occupied, so they considered the idea of establishing an institute here. The location of the new institute turned out to have a good astroclimate. In other words, it was very suitable for astronomical observations. It had high atmospheric transparency, absence of turbulence, that is, various nature-induced vibrations of the landscape, a large number of clear days per year, and also very dark nights, which means no artificial light from populated areas. When the observatory was created, the astroclimate was good here. The city with all the sources of artificial light was far from it, and the illumination was insignificant. The turbulence was minimal and transparency was good. Unfortunately, everything has changed. Now the light emissions has increased hundreds of times, hence it interferes with the observations. For these reasons, Kamienske Plateau Observatory is only suitable for spectral observations. All our main observations are carried out at the other two locations, Assi Turgen and Tianshan Astronomical Observatories. Assi Turgen Observatory is situated at a picturesque height of almost 3000 meters above sea level. It has Kazakhstan's largest telescope with one and a half meter diameter of the parabolic deflector. This is way less than the parameters of the world's most powerful telescopes. However, the main advantage is astroclimate. At Assi, it is close to ideal. Some countries have extremely bad atmospheric conditions. Good weather is crucial to astronomical observations. Here we usually have completely clear sky and minimal wind speed. Not every country in the world has such conditions. For example, it's hard to find a good place for observations in Europe. Space exploration is an expensive process. In addition, there is limited number of places on Earth with the best astroclimate. That is why today there are only about 500 observatories in the world. And all the world's astronomers and astrophysicists are some of the most cosmopolitan scientists. They have to share equipment, whichever country it is located in. The dream of all astronomers, including Kazakh ones, is to work in Chile. At the moment, Chile has the most ideal astroclimate. Moreover, it will have the most powerful telescope in history. The construction will be finished in a few years. The optical tube diameter of this telescope will reach almost 40 meters, which will enhance the quality of cosmic observations. Perhaps the distant galaxies will no longer be so mysterious to us. The study of galaxies is an ongoing process because it turns out that they are impermanent. Over time, their properties change and it's important to observe these changes. Based on this data, we can determine what kind of matter there is, what temperature, density and chemical composition these galaxies have. Astronomy studies the heavens above, literally, but the work of astronomical observatories also has quite practical implications. The most important of them is tracking free celestial objects. Scientists, including Kazakh astronomers, predict their trajectories, calculate threats, helping mankind to avoid global catastrophes. <laughs>